Welcome to Lesson 11, which roughly covers pages 72 and 73 of the Automate the Boring Stuff with Python textbook. Right now, getting an error or exception in your Python program means that the entire program will crash. You don't want this to happen in real-world programs. Instead, you want the program to be able to detect errors, handle them, and then continue to run. We can make an error happen easily. So in a new file, enter the following. def div 42 by divide by. This will be a function that just returns the value 42 divided by whatever argument we passed in. We can call this here print div 42 by divided by 2 divided by 12 divided by 0 and divide it by 1. And I'll just save this as example.py and I'll run this program. So we can see this has caused an error. This line worked just fine. It called div, div 42 by and it passed 2. So it returned 42 divided by 2 which was just 21. That got printed to the screen. Then we also called it by passing 12, so 42 divided by 12 returned 3.5. But then an error happened here when we passed in 0. 42 divided by 0 caused this zero division error. Computers don't really know how to handle dividing a number by a 0. So whenever that happens, it says, well, I don't want to continue running the instructions in this program because I've just come across this error that I don't know how to handle. So instead, it crashes and terminates the program. That's why this function call never gets made, because the program crashed at this point. But you can handle an error with a try and accept statement. Modify the program so that it looks like this. Try colon return 42 divided by divide by and accept zero division error. That's this error's name right here, colon, print, error, you tried to divide by zero. Now when we run this program, you can see it divides by 2, it divides by 12, it tries to divide by 0, which causes this error to happen, and it runs this code. And since there's no return statement, this function just ends up returning the none value, which gets printed here. And then the program continues on. It calls div 42 by and passes 1 to it, so 42 divided by 1 is 42. And the program just ran to completion. It didn't have any sort of ugly error message that appeared. And this happens because when code in a try clause causes a zero division error, the program execution immediately moves to the code inside the accept clause. And after running that code, the, ex the execution continues running as normal. This keeps the program from crashing entirely. You can also have a simple accept statement without specifying the type of error it catches, and it will catch all types of errors. Now, this code can be useful for input validation. Say I have a program where I enter the number of cats I own. It might look like this. So here it asks, how many cats do you have? The user can type in how many they have. It's assigned to numcats. And since input returns a string value, we have to convert that to an integer. And then that's compared to see if it's greater than or equal to 4. And if so, it prints out, that's a lot of cats. Otherwise, it prints out, that's not that many cats. So let's run this program. How many cats do you have? I'll just enter 5. It says, that is a lot of cats. Let's run that again. How many cats do you have? Uh, zero. That is not that many cats. 
There's a possible problem with this code though. The user can type in anything. They don't have to type in a number. So when I run this program, I could type in six, and then that causes an error. This error happens because the string six assigned to the variable numcats is then passed to the int function, which is expecting a string that has numeric digits in it. Int works just fine if you have a string like six, but as soon as you try to pass it a string that doesn't have numeric digits in it, like the word six, then it causes a value error. So we can add a try accept block inside here. to handle this error. Accept value error. Print, you did not enter a number. Now when I run this program, I can type anything I want, and it'll give me an error message saying you did not enter a number, but that's a lot better looking than just this ugly looking Python error message. And this is what we mean by input validation. It validates the input that the user has given us so that it doesn't cause the program to crash. Just for extra credit, you might want to change this program because technically a user could enter something like negative four cats, which is technically not greater than or equal to four, so it prints out that it's not that many cats. See if you can figure out some code to add to this program that would change it so that it detects when the user enters a negative number and displays a different error message. To recap, a divide by zero error happens whenever the pro a Python program tries to divide a number by zero. Errors usually cause the program to crash entirely because Python doesn't know how to continue on after that. It doesn't want to run the, the instructions with bad data, so it just halts the entire program and displays this error message. But an error that happens inside a try block will cause code in the accept block to execute. That code can handle the error or display a message to the user or whatever you want it to do so that the program can keep going.